I love fashion. I love how fun it is. I love expressing myself through my clothing, putting an outfit together whenever I go out. And most of all, I love the confidence that fashion gives me. And I'm guessing that if you're watching this video, you probably feel the same way too. And us fashion enthusiasts, we like to experiment with our style, try a new trend, a new color we've never worn before, a different fit or a different type of jacket. But in the end, we always end up coming back to the same few items that we love. You know what I'm talking about. We all have our favorites, our staples, our wardrobe essentials. For some people, it might be your favorite pair of jeans that you've had for four years, or your trusted go-to hoodie, or a specific jacket that you always gravitate to. So today, I wanna to pay tribute to my most worn item of clothing. And granted, there's a few pieces that I would say I wear repeatedly very often. And those are the pieces that form part of my signature style or my capsule wardrobe as some would call it. So before we crown the winner for my most worn clothing item, I feel we just have to go through a few honorable mentions that deserve to be shown. It's getting hot in here. <sighs> Honorable mention number one, Chelsea boots. As many of you know, Chelsea's are a big staple of my shoe collection. In fact, I wear them so often that I have quite a few variants of them. My Pradas are my go-to, my reliable ones. They're a nice modern take on the classic Chelsea silhouette. They go with anything and everything. The Saint Laurent's, those are the quirky, edgy half-brother who's here for a good time, not a long time. Great for when you wanna make a statement. Finally, the Koyos. Those are the rugged cousin that's ready for a beating anytime, featuring a chunky rubber sole and matte black leather. I wear these when the weather takes a turn for the worse. Honorable mention number two, the gray hoodie. More specifically, this gray hoodie from Cole Buxton. I've worn this bad boy with every outfit imaginable. Streetwear, loungewear, smart casual, from leather pants to shorts to wool trousers. It has the right length and tightness of the hem to be able to fold it once for a slightly cropped look that doesn't drop when you move around, which is a big deal for me when it comes to hoodies. It has a strong drop shoulder and the sleeves are oversized, which makes for a relaxed, modern silhouette. All in all, I'll give it a strong 9 out of 10 and it is by far my favorite hoodie I own. I need to give it up to the third honorable mention, the white t-shirt. As you can see, I wear one all the time and he would have been crowned winner if it wasn't for the fact that there isn't one specific model that I wear 100% of the time. Instead, I tend to alternate between four different ones depending on the look that I'm going for. First up, we have the Uniqlo U Airism oversized t-shirt. That was a mouthful. That's my go-to oversized one when I want to wear it untucked. The material has a subtle sheen to it, which gives it a more contemporary feel. Then the Everlane Relaxed Premium Weight T-shirt is the one I go for when I want an oversized tee that has a more classic feel, as it's made from heavyweight 100% cotton, giving it that nice old school t-shirt vibe. And it looks good both tucked and untucked. But when I want a slim t-shirt, I go for the Uniqlo Color Crew Neck. I think that's what it's called. I scoured the website for it, but couldn't find this model anymore. It's basically their cheapest one. It's sold for like five pounds and it's just a nice basic slim fit. Feels nice on the skin, but if it doesn't come back in stock, the Supima cotton one is also really good. Lastly, when I want something a little more elevated, I go for the Florence Black Heavy Tee. Handmade in England with extra heavy cotton featuring dropped shoulders, wide long sleeves, and the hand-stitched label along the center back seam. It drapes beautifully across the body, and it's my t-shirt of choice when I want to wear it on its own in a more Scandi minimal type of outfit. Okay, now that we've paid proper respect to the honorable mentions, no more beating around the bush, there is one last item that righteously deserves the crown of most worn clothing item ever in my wardrobe. It is my honor to hand that prize to the Uniqlo Men Smart Comfort Ankle Length Trousers, also known as the two-way stretch ankle length trousers, depending on which country you're in, and previously called the EZY trousers. These have basically won the prize for the trousers that have changed their names the most often. But even though the name has changed, the fit has not, and these have been my go-to pair of trousers for the last four years now. I have an unconditional love for black trousers, specifically for this kind of silhouette. Mid to high rise, relaxed in the leg with a taper from the knee down and a cropped hem. 
The center crease gives them that sophisticated feel that I think trousers should have, while the elasticated waistband and the two-way stretch fabric gives them the comfort of joggers. You cannot get any more versatile than this. Don't get me wrong, I love my jeans and chinos, but there's just something about a good pair of cropped black smart trousers. It just flows with everything. I've worn these in all black looks, with smarter attire as well as more casual looks, even just a t-shirt and sneakers. Now you have a perfect blend of smart and casual, and they can even be worn all year round. In spring, with a light jacket and sneakers. In summer, with just a t-shirt, tucked or untucked. In fall, with a multi-layered look. Or in winter, with chunky outerwear. From the first day I got them, these trousers have become a cornerstone of my wardrobe and my initiation to black trousers in general. And at only $50, they're definitely a steal. I mean, if we calculated cost per wear, at this point, it's probably in the pennies for me. But sadly, as much as I love them, I will now be retiring them. Yes, you heard right. They've served me very well up to this day, but I've now found an upgrade that will be taking their place in my wardrobe. So it is time to say goodbye. But before we do, you know we have to give them one last final lookbook to send them off. So cue music. Sugar, baby, sugar. Goodbye, child. It's been nice wearing you.